As I said in the introduction, in this course, I'm going to mix an entire song start to finish. So this session is actually the finished mix. You can tell me you're sorry. Extend an olive branch. But I know it was you who's telling lies behind my back. I have all and I'm showing you this now so you can get an idea of what the mixer looks like in action. If I just opened up an empty mix, there's really nothing to show off. So there's a few ways you can access the mixer. You can press X on your keyboard to pull it up in the same window, or you can press Command-2 to open it in a separate window. This is especially nice if you have two displays and you want your main window on one and the mixer on another. So these channels are channel strips, and they correspond to various tracks up in the main window. Now the blue ones are audio tracks, the green ones are software instruments, the yellow ones are auxiliary channel strips, also known as aux tracks, and then you have your stereo output and your master fader on the far right here. The stereo output is a sum of everything in the mix, and then there's a master fader that comes after that in the signal flow. So here's the thing, if the stereo output is the sum of everything in the mix, why even have a master fader? Why not just make the stereo output the master fader? Well, there are some situations where you might have multiple stereo outputs in a mix, or more than two outputs, like surround sound. This isn't going to affect this mix, but I wanted to point that out, that the master fader controls everything in the mix, including the stereo output. And there's actually a duplicate of it up here, outside of the mixer. So I'm just going to option click on that to set it back to zero. When you option click on a fader and set it back to zero like that, and it says zero at the top here, this is called unity or unity gain. It means that there's no added or reduced gain on that track. You'll also notice that some of these have two values, like this one says negative 5.3 and then negative 36. Negative 5.3 is the actual level of the fader itself. Negative 36 is the peak level of the signal coming through that track at that point in time. And if I hit play, this will change. You can tell me you're sorry. Extend an olive. As these values approach zero, they start to turn yellow, saying that they're getting close to clipping. And if something goes over zero, then it clips. For instance, if I add a bunch of added gain in the compressor on my keyboard track. You can tell me you're sorry. The value shown in red is saying that we're clipping by 2.6 dB. The decibel values you see in all DAW mixers are dBFS. FS stands for full scale. This is a digital scale. Full scale is not like sound pressure level or SPL, where zero dB means no audible sound. Zero dB in full scale means that the signal is all ones. In a binary digital system, the audio stream is ones and zeros. With all zeros, you have no sound. And with all ones, the amplitude is maxed out. So that's what zero dB means here. If it's over zero, the signal is clipping and audible distortion will be produced if you mix down a clipped signal without correcting the clip in some way. So that's why you're gonna mostly see negative values here because everything has to be at zero or lower. So you'll see that some of these values are not negative. Like this one here says 22.5. It is actually a negative value. It's just that when you're pulling down the fader here, it actually hides the minus sign once you get into double digits. You can control the volume of each track with the volume fader, and then the volume meter meters the signal coming through the track. You can, tell me. you can mute a track to take it out of the mix, or you can solo a track to just hear that instrument. And then this is a pan knob. You can pan it left or right in the mix. And again, you can option click on this to set it back to default. Up top here are your audio effects inserts. This is where you can add effects to the channel strip. So this bass track has a noise gate on it and the vintage tube EQ. Now the way I open those up is you click on the middle part of the insert and it'll open up the plugin window. You can also bypass a plugin by clicking on the left side. And you can completely remove a plugin by clicking on the right side and going to no plugin. This gray window is an EQ display. If you double click on this, it'll actually create a channel EQ right on the channel strip for you. And then any changes that you make to the channel EQ will show up in the EQ display. If you have compression on the track, 
This purple meter shows the gain reduction on the track. Here you have bus sends that can be used for time-based effects like reverb, delay, and ensemble. And tell me you're sorry. So you can hear that reverb on her voice there. If I pull down the send amount on both of these, all of the time-based effects will be removed. And tell me you're sorry. You can also disable these by clicking on the on-off switch on the left side of these. So I've kind of been talking about the channel strip components a little out of order. Let's talk about the actual signal flow of an audio channel strip. So toward the top here, you have your input. And this input tab, if you were recording, would be where you can select your microphone input coming from your interface. So the signal comes in that way when you record, goes through all of the audio effects, then from the audio effects goes to the sends. The sends actually split the signal off of the channel strip and send that signal over to auxiliary channel strips over here. But we'll talk more about that later. Then the signal goes to the volume fader. Then it goes to the pan knob. And I know that seems weird because of the way they're placed, but the signal actually hits the fader first. The pan knob is actually the last thing in the signal chain before it goes to the output. And that's what this last tab here is. So this output tab, you can send the signal to no output, which you won't hear it, or you can send it to the stereo output directly. 